honey bun. This is what me and Namjoon's child's gonna look like. My next concert is Demi Lovato. So actually I saw Demi Lovato earlier this year, like 2018, um, before I saw Taylor Swift. I totally forgot that I even saw her, but I wrote it down, so thank God I remember. The thing about Demi Lovato's concert is that I did not have any expectations. I did not really listen to her. I actually got invited to see Demi, and I remember she was like, hey, you wanna see like Demi Lovato with me? And I was like, um, yes, bitch. <laughs> uh, what do you think this is? I didn't really stand her or anything. Like when she was on Disney Channel, I was like, okay, like go off, I guess. But it was like, I don't know. I didn't really care too much for her, but I saw her live. She is so good. Like, okay, I actually have two experiences from that concert that were really fun. So the first experience, I actually had floor seats for that too, because my fan, my friend is a part of like a, a Demi Lovato fan club thing. And so she was able to get a floor seat for like, I guess a pretty good price. So thanks Anna, that's pretty dope girl. When Demi like came by on the floor, it was during Confident and she was wearing like a wrestler outfit like a wrestle costume or something. And she was like having her hands out so that we could like, you know, like hit her hand. And literally I touched hands with Demi Lovato. And I was like, oh my God, her hand is so soft and it's like really tiny. Like <laughs> her hand is like really small and like cute. And I was like, oh my God, Demi. <laughs> like I was like, that really happened. I really touched Demi Lovato's hand. Another thing I remember during the concert was that during Tell Me You Love Me, um, cause I, we had seats, like it was literally like two rows back from the main stage. And I was like, you ain't nobody till you got, cause like Tell Me Love, that's like, I go to church and that song is on. I'm like, oh, oh, tell me you love me. Like that's my shit. And so I remember to Tell Me You Love Me came out. I was like, Yes, yes, like I was going to church. Like we were all like, you know, in the, um, what's it called? In the pulpit, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I haven't been to church in so long. And I remember she was like, I, I remember I was like, you ain't nobody. And she pointed back to me, she said, you ain't nobody, so you got, and I was like, oh, bitch. Like me and Demi are like soul sisters now, um, confirmed. But that was a really fun concert experience. So my tip for that is I've actually learned this through a handful of concerts, but those weren't like the important parts of those concerts is that when you're like close to like a celebrity or like you're close to like someone who's performing, when you make movements that are easy for them to replicate, they'll recognize you. So like I did the pointing thing because it was directed towards her specifically and it was a simple notion, you know? And so she did it back to me. This has happened at other concerts too. I think for Jack Jacksepticeye, I did some sort of notion and he repeated it back to me. And it's just a human nature thing. It's like, you see kids at the grocery store and you wave at them, you like, hi. And then they like basically unconsciously wave back because you're doing it. And so in their mind, you know, that goes into their mind and they replicate the action back. It's not, I, it's not as simple as that, but that's something that I've learned through going through a few concerts and seeing fan interactions with other celebrities and stuff like that. And so I think that's really cool and interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next concert I went to was Black Pink in your area, or as I like to call it, your area, you're in pink black. I remember seeing Black Pink and I actually had Barricade and you know, like it was actually really fun. I was thinking about making a full video about it, but like, I don't know, like, I don't know, it was a lot. Like Jisoo almost actually took my phone. And one thing I would like take away from that concert was the fact that like, I didn't really eat all day. Like I was just standing in lines. Honestly, um, the people who were running Blackpink's event were very unorganized, very rude, and they did not give us any information. So I would like to blame Powerhouse, but also the fact that I did not eat that whole day, really like by the time the doors like opened and the concert started like 6, 30, 7 o'clock, I was about to pass out. Like some, like, cause, a lot of us VIPs, like we hung out all day because we did sound check and then we were just waiting around all day for like different wristbands and stuff like that. So unorganized. I remember I was just like, I felt like I was gonna faint. And everyone was like, Princess, are you okay? Like, are you okay? Like, you're so sweet. And I'm just like, I'm fine. Like, why pick in your area, you know? But then like, as soon, like right before the concert started, like I got a rush. I was like, I got my last amount of I guess estrogen, testosterone. I don't know what I got in my system, but I think it was adrenaline because I was like, I'm ready to take on the world. Like, Hasuni Miku, the world is mine. Like, that 
that concert, like I think the one thing I would take away from that is to please eat. Like I know I talked about it in like my like preparation video, but please eat food. Just eat anything. Like I'm not even like saying I have to be funny or anything like that. Like even though I was the first person in the arena, like I was so grateful I was first in line for um, Barricade. But like after the concert, I felt like shit. But yeah, that was pretty hard not eating anything. So make sure to actually eat. Okay, that's on period. Okay, so this is actually really interesting. So I saw BTS two nights at Soldier Field, and let me tell you the timeline of this. So I saw Blackpink at the end of April, I believe it was April 24th, and I remember like literally two weeks, literally like less than two weeks from that, I saw BTS two nights. Like imagine that whole month of me going to see Blackpink and then going to see BTS two nights in a row. Like it was so much fun. So the first night for BTS, I had a 200 seat at Soldier Field. Shout out to Soldier Field. Woohoo! Got your tickets, baby! Um, also, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm using this brown shade and I'm going underneath my eyeball. <laughs> I remember, you know, being excited for the concert. Um, because I do this thing where it's like I'm excited for like five seconds before the concert like literally like an hour before the concert everything hits me it's like oh my god like they're real like i'm really about to see my opas in real life one thing i learned from that concert um is what did i learn from that concert i low-key learned that like k-pop fans come in so much variety because for bts like they're kind of like the biggest k-pop group right now in america at least probably everywhere but you know what I'm saying like I'm not trying to be like fan war or anything but I'm just being realistic and I actually saw like like an older woman who was like I think like maybe in her 60s and she was like yeah my bias is um Jimin and I was like what like that's so cool like I had a food break and um I got stuff on my shirt so you tell me how I'm doing <laughs> I got a honey bun to what me and Namjoon's child's gonna look like. Okay, we're done with that. So what was I talking about? Oh yes, Bangtan Honyeon. So BTS, um, I learned that from both of their tours. I mean, both of their tours, both of the dates that I went to on their tour. So um, yeah, that's kind of all I have for them. The next one that I have is TWICE. <laughs> So I actually don't listen to Twice's music like at all. No hate. Like Feel Special, Slaps, their last um the last mini album is so good. My favorite Twice song is probably Hot. And I saw them in July in Chicago for Twice Lights. I went with a few of my friends from um, my Korean pop culture club that I started in college and unfortunately I'm not able to attend anymore because I'm not in college anymore. But the highlight from that was definitely like seeing how many guys are actually there because for k-pop concerts it's usually like um i don't really think about it but it's usually um 70 percent girls maybe 30 percent guys but at that concert dead ass there were so many dudes and it was so fun seeing the guys like because at k-pop concerts like our fan chants are like ah, 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 ah. and then like the guys doing your fan chants like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Like their voices are so obviously so much more deeper than like girls and so it's just really funny to see a bunch of guys like fangirling and so I mean fanboying but it was really fun and um twice they are actually amazing dancers performers singers they really just killed me um yeah so my main thing that I learned for twice lights um was the fact that like be be in line get in line as soon as they'd say to get in line because <laughs> I remember like I was in line earlier than my friend and literally the concert started while people were in line like I guess JYP was like girl we need to keep this line going like I'm sorry like me on hey but um we gonna have to start the show um because G-Show told us to so <laughs> but my main thing is that like I didn't even like the group as much as like they did and like they like missed the beginning like i mean i don't think they missed the whole thing but it's like imagine going to a concert and then like you're going with other people who don't even care about the group that much and then it's like they get in before you and then it's like you have like no sense of like shock at to you just walking in and then they're starting the concert like the trauma the trauma so definitely be early 
like not just be early but like when they say to get in the line make sure you're actually in the line at that time and then so that like when you when you're like going in you can be one of the first people like maybe not like the first like five or ten but even like the first maybe like hundred or two hundred or anything like that you know i just really like being at concerts early and on time so that i have time to interact with people and also like do things i need to do so yeah so i'm gonna put a shimmer this pink shimmer next to this purple oh my god i'm trying not to fuck up my palette i can't i really can't see i literally my glasses are fucked so the next concert that i went to by myself is Lollapalooza 2019. So Lollapalooza last year, the lineup was like meh, you know, like I, it was okay. I'm Normani and the Chainsmokers. And um, one thing that I would do again for Lollapalooza, like if I don't have friends who like want to go, is I would literally just like, I would go by myself again because it was so much fun. You know, 2018, I went with my friend and you know, like I didn't really, you know, I didn't really do the things I wanted to do, but you know, this past year I was able to, and so I really redeemed myself. That's my redemp that's my anime redemption arc. So um, I'm waiting for my season four episode. Please, thank you. Also, another tip is that I actually bought a VIP. I actually bought a ticket, like a normal general admission ticket, the morning of the concert, and I just went to Chicago. I mean, like for the festival. I actually bought off StubHub. I believe it for 125. StubHub actually had like their own VIP booth that was like maybe two blocks from Grant Park, so that like you can like chill there, and they have like complimentary like drinks and stuff and food. So that was like actually really awesome because you got that along with like paying less for like a ticket and so I thought that was super dope. So I would do that next year, like buy it from StubHub so you can have that extra like VIP treatment. <laughs> so um, love that. I'm saying like StubHub for resale is probably like the best thing ever because StubHub always has good prices. And this is, this is not an ad, but I would really like to work with StubHub one day because um, they really out here changing my life. Like. I bought so many tickets from StubHub and they were like really great, so. I love glitter, can you tell? Kesha is shaking. Kesha is a Pisces, so let's link up. So we are getting very close to the end of the list and the next is Card. So for Card, I saw them recently. I believe it was October of 2019 and I actually have a vlog about it on my channel which you can watch. It's pretty, ba it was a pretty simple basic day. I actually bought a ticket like right next to the stage for like $120 three days after they went on sale. Like I'm not sure how that happened but I found a seat like right in the, in the front and it was like 120, 130 and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and it was actually a VIP ticket. So I actually ended up, um, talking to BM and JSF. And um, I think, <laughs> this is so funny real quick. I talked to them, I didn't put this in my vlog because I wasn't able to have my phone out during the VIP. But basically, I I was like, um, they were signing the, you know, things. And I was like, oh my God, JSF, annyeonghaseyo. And then he was like, oh, annyeonghaseyo. And I was like, annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> It was so funny, like Jason was like so cute, like he's low key, like my new bias and card. Sorry, Daddy BM. Um, got to take this L, but I actually met B. I actually um met BM, and he was like he complimented because I had like this wig that I used for like one of my um BTS transformation videos where I transformed into Taeyeon, which you guys should check out. And I remember watch. I remember like I had I had my hat on and I had that wig on, and he was like. Oh, I like your blue hair. It's like really cool actually. Like I'm not kidding. And I was like, you can't see it, but like my heart is like crying. And then he was like, that's okay. Just hold it in, hold it in. You got this. And I was like, oh my God, like be on talk to me. Like, ah. but this is really nice because like, they're all like really great. And the fan interaction was so real. Like guys, like I'm scratching my butt right now, but honestly, like, they really love interacting with us, especially BM, obviously, because he speaks English and stuff, so it's like easier for him to like understand what's going on. Um, but it was just really nice, like being that close to the stage. And towards the end of the concert for like the encore, they came back out and like we were all able to go to the front, like because we were seated, but we were all able to like go to the front of the theater, like by the stage, and like they were like BM was like throwing like water and stuff and I'm like bitch it's October but anyway one thing that I learned from that concert is like if you're by the stage put your 
phone out. Like, I had my phone out and BM actually took a picture on my phone. But as soon as he, I mean, he took a video on my phone. But as soon as he took my phone, the video started and my phone died. <sighs> like, that tip to, like, have your phone out. Like, have your phone. Because they will take your phone, like, a lot of times they don't care. Especially during, like, encores and stuff. Like, like for Blackpink, I almost got my phone taken by Jisoo. And then BM took my phone and, like, it died. But basically, long story short, like, yes, like, basically, do it. <laughs> Just do it. Like, don't be afraid. Like, if you right there, be like, hey, Opa. And then they'll be like, I got you. <laughs> it was so fun. And BM was so nice. And, you know, like, everyone was happy. It was just... I'm going to see Card again and um, stream Red Moon for Clear Skin. <laughs> so the next concert that I went to... Um, and this is like to date because it's February. Um, the last concert I went to was all five of Super M's first leg concert dates. And if you guys have not seen those videos, you should check them out. Even though they are completely demonetized because, um, you know, Super M. So, <laughs> but I went to the Dallas date, Chicago date, New York date, Atlanta date, and DC. And let me tell you, it was kind of a whirlwind. I actually really enjoyed myself. I never felt any stress like on that trip. Um, I did overdraft a few times, especially for my car payment. So my tip for like that whole thing, apparently like you can drink at 18 years old um, in Texas. I don't know, but like I gave them my ID and like I I'm 20, so like, you know, I was like, okay, I'll just give him my ID, you know, like, whatever. Let me try and be slick. And then, like, the girl actually gives me a Bud Light, and I'm like, what? <laughs> but basically, like, yeah, the girl gave me a Bud Light, and I was like, what? And so I kept telling, I told people, like, after I got home, I was like, mom, like, they let me get a Bud Light, like, 24 ounces, baby. <laughs> it was a lot of money, but, like, I didn't even drink the whole thing. I wasted money. But, like, I remember I was just like, um, what? Like, how did they let me do this? Because I'm from Michigan. And basically, apparently you can drink at the age of 18 in Texas. So I thought that was really cool. And my tip was would to be, if you're planning on going to like maybe another concert that's not like where you're from, like check out the rules there. Like you might be able to do stuff like drink at 18 or like, you know, just different things like that. Like that'd be cool. I mean, I sound like an alcoholic, but I, you know, I just thought it'd be cool to do because if you're at a concert, you know, like it's dope. So it's like, you know, ooh, look at her. Ooh, okay, bitch. <laughs> I barely put anything on my face. And I'm just like, wow, congratulating myself. So I'm gonna put on this blush. It says, it says, um, high definition blush, bl high definition blush in the, in the <laughs> I'm literally illiterate. It says, high definition blush. I keep saying it wrong. High definition blush in shade bronze. So I'm gonna be putting this on my, that works. And I'm gonna, I don't usually put blush on. I don't know how to put it on. So, oh my God. I don't wanna look like a clown. That's like why I don't put it on. Cause I don't like looking clowned. Oh my God, new, um, new show. You've seen blackish. You've seen brownish. Now get ready for Clownish, starring me. Oh God, can you see that? Okay, well, I think that's good enough. Okay, who cares? Um, what am I doing now? <laughs> wow, wow. You know who ate that? Me. I ate that. Tu es delicioso. I feel like Ariana Grande for some reason. I want it, I get it. I want it. I get it. <laughs> All right, I don't know. I might change this, whatever. Okay, who cares? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy these type of videos, um, you know what to do. Like it, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more Crack and K-pop content. And let me know what you guys want to see next. The reason why I did this is because um, you guys voted, so your voice counts to me because you guys are my subscribers. So why would it not? Why would it not, girl? All right, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you very soon. And I am about to post for the gram, and that's on period love. <laughs>